spirit. It's Kevin Gunner family in Popo Sana Frequency, 12 minutes after 8. Welcome to the third hour of the show. It's a Thursday today. We're talking all things property. Property speaking, joining us in studio is Philip Skuman. So today we are looking at why is it important to consider all the, you know, amenities that are around your property. Does that have any play on the value of your property at all? So if you want to know, you are planning on buying property this year or planning on buying property next year, this is a very important conversation to listen to. Surprise! When you buy Kellogg's Instant Noodles Multi-Pack Fives, buy five packs for only 100 Rand. Huggies Dry Comfort Nappies, buy two packs for only 250 Rand. Never pay more than the box surprise. Complexion and Mama Shita on the Capricorn Breakfast. And we are joined in studio by broker and owner of Remax, Philip Skuman. Morning, Philip. How are you Morning, doing? Guys. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for having me as always. Yeah. So as Commission said, when you look at the, the different, and I, I know in a lot of adverts, when you're looking for a property, they would say, house close to these amenities and this, this, this. And that sounds like it's always a great selling point for you guys in the property. Because you guys like really try to make us feel like, yeah, these things, they're these things. You should consider this. So why is it important? Why is it? Uh, is this something that people should focus more on when buying property? Well, amenities are, they tend to be long-term uh, value added to a community or a, an area. Okay. And something like a school will add value. Uh, you know, specifically in, in, in the bigger metropolitan areas, you'll find people pick to live in an area because of something like a school being mm. in that area. Mm. All right. Now, all amenities don't add the same value. Really? I.e. a tavern and a school. <laughs> Two different things. <laughs> I mean, when you look at the adverts, we always see school, hospital, mall. Mm. Uh, what else am I, am I missing? Those are like the ones you, it sounds like, okay, this is... Well, that's if it's close to the amenity and it's actually being zoned. Mm. Uh, large, largely, people that open up businesses from home or in specific areas or whatever, you should... <laughs> Largely, it's illegal, called illegal land use, okay? Um, and it's the illegal use of what the land is zoned for. Now, you consider the scenario, you, you, you've you been living in an area for X amount of years, and now you get a new neighbor, um, and the new neighbor wants to start a tavern. How does that affect your property? It's obviously going to negatively affect your property. Mm. And what systems are in place for us to report this from a legal point of view is we should go to the municipality. And, and by the way, I say this as well, the more strictly your municipality is run, the better these laws will be enforced. Um, and I've got an example of Pretoria specifically. Mm -hmm. um, but what I wanted to say is that they don't all add the same value or detect okay. the same value. Now, if somebody is illegally occupying the land or, or, or using it for something that it's not zoned for, mm -hmm. you should go to the municipality to the Spatial Planning and Land Use Department and you can report it there. And then, now obviously they'll send out an investigation team and... What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. it'll run its process. How successful that's going to be? Two different things. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, but you could always... There are many ways to skin a cat. Um, okay. If you're with me, but it's a big problem illegal land use It's a really really big problem and it does negatively affect property values in most cases You can't really control it, but let's say you've stayed in an area mm -hmm. and now somebody has legally applied For a tavern right next door to you. Mm -hmm. They will have to put up uh, Advertisement mm -hmm. and you will drive past it and they have to advertise it like in three languages in three national newspapers um, they've got to put up a board outside the property saying that this is what we want to do. Mm -hmm. Mostly you drive past construction sites, you'll see these boards, yes. you don't pay attention to them. That's the board you need to be looking for. Because uh, <laughs> when it's up, then you know what's coming up next. But I'm thinking the yes. flip side of that is you've been living in an area for quite some time and then a mall comes up or a hotel comes up. So when it comes to the value of your property, is it a thing that I can start saying, well, my property was like 500,000 rands now? <laughs> Some clients, I'm going to use a specific example, yeah. um, Net, Netcare, but uh -huh. also yeah. the new hospital we got in Flora Park, yes. or Fauna Park. Yes. The houses in the area were selling at 1.4, 1.5 million before, they're still selling at the same value. Really? Netcare Peloso has been there for like four years now. Yeah. Um, it hasn't affected the values. Why? It hasn't. 
it's mm-hmm. gone up the same as anyone else. Um, for now, Florida Park has grown, but it's still in. It's still in. Uh-huh. Um, so it's not like standard. Like there's something of value. It's pops not up. necessary that it will add value. A lot of people tend to think, "Oh, this is going to double my property value." Yeah. Um, no, it's not going <laughs> to. In most cases, it's not going to. Um, is it the same story with Bendel? Generally, I mean, a lot, yeah. Okay, you've got s- similar. There's a lot of developments that uh, are coming, and a lot of developments yeah. that are happening right now. So, yeah. when does the value go up? Because if, I, if I'm living in an area and I'm seeing construction around you, I'm like, good shot. If a town is booming, if a town is booming, okay, the property prices in general go up everywhere. Okay, you don't want uh, to grow disproportionately to any other area. For instance, Pendor doesn't want to outgrow Ladana, you don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Okay. Um, and you know it, it will grow uh, organically mm-hmm. with the economy and that's what's supposed to happen new millionaires entering polokwani they buying houses building houses the, if we just look at uh, how the population mm-hmm. um, doubles like every 20 years or whatever mm-hmm. 30 years now i think that's the rate um it's it's quite a bit all right, okay. We can wrap it up for today. I, yep. I wanted to, you were asking, uh, there was something else I wanted to touch on. It was quite funny. Quickly, Sorry. just go ahead. Quickly, yeah. quickly. You were asking what was one of the worst case scenarios that I've had. And a, a specific example, a client calls me and he says to me, he doesn't want to buy inside an estate. And after going backward and forward, and because the property that he wants is inside an estate. Okay. So I'm like, this is the one you should take. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, no, I don't want any estate. And I'm expecting him to say something like, I don't want levies or I don't like this or I don't want to be controlled or whatever. Mm-hmm. So he says, he says to me, the reason I don't want to, want to buy inside these days is because they're going to prohibit me from slaughtering a cow in my yard. Oh. And I'm like, hey, buddy, everyone's going to stop you from doing that. <laughs> it's illegal land use. Yeah. You know, yeah. you're not, you can't just go for freestanding views. Now you can slaughter a cow. This is not the village. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, it's these health um things to consider here. Something that gets away a lot in, in uh, this kind of thing with uh, special, uh, this is another topic we need to discuss, um, mm-hmm. special approval. Okay. That uh, what always gets approved with this kind of approval, uh, it's under section 21 of the Land Use Act. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not, not, don't quote me on that. But anyway, is that uh, something that services the community, like a uh, preschool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, dentist office um, some things like that can be considered um, so it's an application process to to reserve okay all right we'll leave it here for today thank you so much i appreciate your time philip philip skuman broker and owner of remax <laughs>